Hi and welcome to another video by Phil Ball Photography. Uh, today is just a short video to explain something that I uh, talked about in my blog uh, for a little while um, in my macro photography uh, article. This is uh, to explain photo stacking and how you do it in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS4. Uh, it takes a fairly recent version of Photoshop to be able to do photo stacking, but if you don't have that you can download um, some software online to do photo stacking. Um, I'm not sure if it's free or, or um, if it costs a little bit of money, but it's certainly not going to cost as much as buying um, Photoshop just just for doing this. So anyway, uh, the concept behind photo stacking is that you can uh, take pictures uh, very close up or macro um, levels of magnification where the depth of field is very, very thin and stack them together so that uh, taking subsequent photos with slightly different focal planes you can get the whole image in focus. Um, now what we're looking at here on the screen is the stack that I've got uh, but you're only seeing uh, about the first five or six images uh, there's, uh, there's about ten or eleven images in the stack um, but uh, before we get into handling the stack I want to show you how to load them into the stack in Photoshop. Uh, so you'd load them into the stack um, using file scripts and load files into stack. When you do that, um, it'll bring up this option screen. You browse, you find uh, the images. Uh, in my case, they're still on the memory card. Uh, so I would find all those raw images on the memory card. There they are. And um, select all of those and hit OK when you've selected them. The other thing you'll want to do is attempt to automatically align the images. Uh, you'd think to yourself, well, they'd, they'd still be in alignment, right, because all you did was change the focus. Well, as it happens, the easiest way to do photo stacking is to either move the camera or the object, but not to change the focus on the focus ring. Uh, it's very difficult to change the focus on the focus ring, even manually, with any sort of uh, repeatable uh, small changes. Uh, it's easier, in this case, what I did was I slid the coin slightly towards the camera so that at the um, the first photo, the front edge of the coin was in focus and I slid it, slid the coin towards the camera so that slowly the focus moved towards the back of the coin. And then when um, you stack them into Photoshop it, it realigns all of the images so that the coin appears to be in one place. Uh, but that's why the top edge of the photos up here uh, has moved up there. Uh, if, I, um, if I turn off some of these uh, other images you'll see to the back of the stack So what you're seeing there is my front image, where the coin, the coin was near the top of the image. Uh, the front edge was in the middle, and the back of the stack, where the opposite is true. I'm going to just take off that first one. So Photoshop's able to align the images so that they um, so they overlap in just the right place to to make it one coin. Now the the trick. After that, after you've aligned them, is to select the right part of each image to show through so that you get the complete image. Now, Photoshop can do that automatically with all the layers selected. You'd go into Edit, Auto Blend Layers. Normally, that would do a pretty good job if it was a flower or something else like that. Yeah, in this case, um, because Photoshop has a hard time telling um, some of these more... Um, bland areas of the coin where there's not much contrast going on. It can't tell if those are quite in focus or not. Um, in this case it kind of struggled. So what I did um, in this finished example here was I manually masked off um, each layer. Um, so you can see if I uh, remove all of the other layers in the stack, um, what I was doing was selecting an area with the rectangle selection tool and, um, and masking with the layer mask on each piece so that uh, as I load in each subsequent layer I'm loading in just that bit that was in focus and uh, there's a little bit of overlap between each one um, and I didn't do a perfect job but it was actually a better job than, than what the auto blending was able to do so that's how I took that picture of that dime so anyway that's photo stacking um, in Photoshop so there's lots of different ways to do this you can, you can move the object slightly between each each photo. You can move the camera on a rail, some people do that, and you can
try to manipulate the focus ring on the lens, although that's the hardest way to do things and, and get it accurate. Um, but your challenge is going to be to uh, to be able to make those small changes in consistent amounts uh, using uh, a high f-stop, a small aperture, to try to get some to try to maximize the depth of field somewhat so that there is some overlap between them. Uh, and in that way you can get uh, what appears to be a much deeper depth of field on a small object. So anyway, hopefully that's been a useful video for you.